All right. I don't know if you guys can actually hear me or not. Let me uh, remove the the overall poster there. I forgot I can do this. I actually put put something on here a little bit better than this. But uh, let me remove this, and we gotta get started with this. There we go. And you should all be able to hear me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Sewing and Reaping uh, YouTube channel. And today, because I'm bored and I got some time for once, I'm going to um, <clears throat> kind of gloat a little bit uh, against uh, Shani and Rev. I know I was I said I was going to talk about these two no more, but um, I think this would be a good opportunity since you know Rev and Shani said they're not going to be on here no more. You know, and they're not going to make content no more because Rev doesn't have the right to talk to females, but Shandy has the right to talk to any man that she wants. You know, I figure I use this as an opportunity to um, point out a little fact on here that's going to anger the Dragoons, bring some reality to um, Shandy and Rev, and actually give people the proper credit they actually deserve for the demise of these two scammers here on uh, social media, okay? particularly Shani, most of this is going to be directed towards her because if I say Rev 2, I don't think he's really going to care, to be perfectly honest. But Shani, however, this is going to hit a little personal. All right. So who is responsible? And watch the whole video. The title of the video should tell you where I'm going with this. Who is responsible for getting Shani to quit social media? Do you guys... Are, are you guys aware of how many different YouTube channels was coming out the Shani? I'll name some of them. Burntos was a regular going out the Shani for a while. Miss Parker was one of the people that was going out the Shani for a while. Trigna was a, was a person that was going out the Shani for a while. BGTV was going out the Shani for a while, despite how many different times he said that she got boring or whatever. He covered her. Um, let me see something here. There's Cecil McFly. There's IRA Alex. There's the people that archived all of her videos. So who are the who's the who's the person on here that I think we should give the credit to? And I think honestly, uh, Shani, I'm talking directly to you. You always you always refer to yourself as the queen, right? You always refer to yourself to somebody who was royalty at the IQ <laughs> of presidents and everything, right? Um, and I'm saying this, Shani, and you know why I'm doing this, Shani, because, you know, you tried to play me. You actually, you did play me a little bit, and then you tried to play me even more. You tried to make me destitute just like you did Rev, and that just wasn't going to happen, right? But what I'm going to say, I don't think it's going to shock you too much. I don't think Dragnut deserves credit for you running off of social media like the coward you are, Shani. I don't believe that uh, Bertos and those other channels that I mentioned deserve credit for you being off of YouTube because let's be honest, you were still making content even though they made videos. And in some cases you were bragging about all the different channels that was making videos about you. That's why you believe that you had celebrity status on here because people was making videos about you. You were so happy when uh, that, that Dawson character, uh, I don't remember his first name or whatever. I, I think the last name is Dawson, made a YouTube video about you guys. And you thought you was, you know, you guys must have thought y'all was Denzel Washington or something like that. Or you, Shane, you might have thought that you was uh, Angelina Jolie or something. Y'all was hot stuff on here, right? Y'all can get on here and just say whatever you want, do whatever you want. You guys are celebrities. People want you guys on here and everything. And Shane, I do remember. And the only reason I didn't um, cut up that video and use a portion of it uh, where you say, no one's ever going to make me quit social media. I love doing this. I'm never leaving social media. I mean, you said it. Dragnut couldn't, couldn't get you to tap out. And Dragnut tried. He tried so hard. He couldn't get you to tap out. Burnt Toast put you in the ankle lock. Couldn't get you to tap out. You got an angle slam from from Burnt, from, from, um, from IRA Alex. <laughs> Those documentaries. <laughs> and a tombstone reverse power driver. And a last ride. And you still stayed on social media. They did a lot of things to you. And you still stayed on social media. But there is one person who I think that's been on here who does and, and is not the only person. I mean, obviously, I believe it's that, it's that whole group of people. So I would have to include her, Drader, and uh, let me see, her, Drader. But mainly, mainly the, the star of the show, the real queen of this community, in the sense that 
They exposed Shani, showed everybody who and what she really was. And then Shani got so scared, she just flew off of um, social media. As a matter of fact, I believe there's two people that deserve the credit. But I'll give uh, this video first and foremost to the one and only Carrie, who deserves credit for ridding social media of Shani. The person who said she would never quit. She's the true queen, Shani. You ain't no goblin queen. You ain't no American queen. You ain't no troll queen. You ain't even the queen of whatever the name of that town in PA you're in or whatever. Okay? You're just Shani at this point. And you're lucky you're that. And Carrie ran you straight off of social media. You want to know why? You just couldn't bear somebody making YouTube videos about you and saying mean stuff about you. I mean, Shani, I've been dealing with this for the longest. And people were still saying negative things about me. And as you know how I feel about that stuff, you know, as long as you don't read the comments, you're good. <laughs> I choose to ignore all of that, except for when it needs to be responded to. But they ran you off of here, Shani. You ran like the coward you are. You ran, you ran, and you ran. As soon as they started questioning you about cancer, you ran. And then you ran straight off of social media, right along with that little boy that you're dating. Both of you ran straight off of social media. Now, Rev isn't going to take offense to that. You want to know why? Rev's not going to take offense because Rev doesn't want to do this anyway. The only reason he makes his videos is because you make him. Okay, Shani, you keep walking around here and you keep bullying poor Rev. And then you, and then and at one time you bullied poor Chris. I don't know who this Doug cat is, but this is supposed to be your ex husband too. And you bullied poor Doug. Doug, you bullied all these other people that was in your life except why, you know what I mean? You bullied all of these people, but you couldn't bully Carrie to stop dealing with you. See, I remember a time, Shani, I'm gonna steal one of your lines, Shani. I remember a time when somebody said something negative to you that you'll cut your computer on and you'll play what somebody played and then you'll actually respond. But nope, you lost your spine, Shani. You lost your spine. And now you have to bow your knee to the one person who was able to run you off of social media, and that is Carrie. Okay? You can do it figuratively in your mind if you like. Just bow your knee, admit you were defeated by that channel, by people simply offering their opinions about you, and that you left social media because of it. Now, some people are gonna say, oh, this is sellout G Man and all this other stuff and whatnot. G Man is, and Carrie are friends. No, this is me stating the obvious. I can't be the only person that notices. Shani didn't quit when the Dragoons went after her. Shani certainly did quit when Carrie went after her. Carrie and Drater were the two most devastating enemies Shani has ever uh, had, to, had to encounter. Because she didn't quit because of the geek room. Oh, just laugh at Shani. Oh, Dragner, oh, laugh at Shani. Oh, Carrie started dealing with you, Shani, and you ran for your life. You ran for your life. So there is a new queen in town, Shani, and it's not you. It's not you, and it's not your court jester you call a man, Rev. And Rev, you know why I'm calling you a court jester, because if Shani tells you to jump, you say how high. You don't know how to stand up for yourself. Man, if you actually knew how to stand up for yourself and do it consistently, your life would be totally different. Like, like a good 4%, nah, about 15% of your life would improve if you just stood up and grew a spine against her and just told her no. But you ain't gonna do that. You're gonna keep doing what you gotta do because you know you wanna get laid and everything and whatnot, right, Rev? That's the most important thing in life. It ain't uh, obeying Christ. It ain't um, uh, a, a standing for something that's important. It's about obeying everything that this female is telling you to do. You're real good about calling stuff horse stuff and all this other stuff and whatnot, saying you wanna punch people. You wish you can go inside the computer and punch people until you see them in person, Rev. Like, like, I can't help you, Rev. This is something that you're going to have to learn on your own. But Shani, you can no longer call yourself a queen, a goblin queen, a princess, or anything like that. Because royalty knows how to defend themselves. 
and I watched Carrie get attacked, and I watched Carrie defend herself. You, Shani, can't defend yourself. You want to know why? Because guilty people can't defend themselves. You see what happens when people come after me. Oh, gee, man, you said this. Oh, really? Give me a link. Gee, man, you don't. Give me a link. Come in this room. Let's talk about it. I'm more than uh, uh, able to, 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 to deal with people who say things about me that I know is, is, is not true. Or somebody exaggerates or tries to troll or whatever. You know what I mean? But you, you, you kind of lost your footing. I mean, even Brett Keane, who lost his channel like a, a, a million times, kept coming back and kept coming back to the point they don't even bother flagging him no more. Brett Keen got a channel. But you, Shani, are absolutely pathetic. You're going to let these people just, just say all this stuff to you and don't even try to defend yourself. I mean, where's the old Shani where Shani would ask Carrie for a link and then go into the room and, and, and you talk it out like adults? You don't want to do that, Shani. You want to know why? Because everything that Carrie is saying on that channel is true. I've been waiting for over a year for you to go into that room and try to defend yourself, and you have not done it. You want to know why? Because literally everything they say on that channel is absolutely correct about you. Because if it wasn't, you would be able to go in the room and show Carrie why she's wrong. You don't know how damaging it would be to Carrie if you was able to go into the room and prove her wrong. You can't prove her wrong because she's 100% correct about you. 100% correct about you. And don't feel bad, Shani. You're not the only person in this community that this can happen to. This can happen to Teddy Bear, 55, who is the easiest. Well, I'll put it to you this way. Who is absolutely, who's an airhead, brain-dead moron, who doesn't know how to defend his positions when people uh, come at him properly. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Carrie's about to run him off of social media now. Why? Because Carrie's exposing him. And Teddy Bear's making a fool out of himself. What about the dork room? Oh, they'll follow soon, too. Don't worry. Because if the dork room keeps going out there saying, we don't do these things, and then 10 minutes later end up doing them, then, you know, people are going to catch on to it. And they'll have zero people watching them. So Shani, where's the great debate, Shani? Where's the Shani that would open up a room and say, let's talk this out. Let's do a show where Carrie can come in and all these other people can come in and you confront them. Where, where, where is that Shani? Did, you, did, did your therapist tell you to stop being brave? Is that what happened? Do you now see that I was right, Shani, about everything that I ever said to you? You ain't got no spine, you or Rev. You both know it would take a whole lot more than somebody making YouTube videos to run me off of here. We both know that. And I mean a lot more. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more. <laughs> a whole lot more. But all somebody got to do is make a video. Hey, guys, let's review Shani. Oh, Shani, you're a terrible mother. You don't take care of your kid. And Shani, when they say all this stuff about you, Shani, about you, about you being a parent, it's not like you go in there and say, look, you know, um, uh, there are rules on YouTube. You can't talk. You don't even do that. You don't even try, Shani. Like, you don't even try. You don't even try. That audience would eat you alive if you went in that room and claimed that you was this great parent and whatnot. You know what I mean? And that you was this... Um, and that you and Rev are married, <laughs> which is hilarious. I would love to see you go in there and try to prove that you're married or that you're not on, some, on, on, on something other than Delta 8, which I'm starting to be suspicious about that myself, to be honest, even though I've never seen you using anything other than Delta 8. There are some things you got to defend your honor with, Shani. There are some things you got to, I mean, if you're so innocent, and Rev, you keep calling people liars on here, dude. The Bible says we're not supposed to be bearing false witness on people, right? So you keep going out there calling them liars. Rev, what are they lying about, Rev? What are they lying about? 
If people are going out there and bearing false witness against Shani, what are they lying about when you yourself said Shani was doing the same things? For example, Rev, here's a question. What happened to your $750,000? I got your story from, um, which channel was that? Um, I don't know if it's, I, I think it's XX. No, 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 it's not, X, it's not XX Archive. There's a channel that has all of their hotel videos on it. Uh, uh, archive, I forget the name of that channel. But you can go back and you can hear him explain, oh, we lost it all through the stock market, even though all the videos that exist on YouTube is Shani, just going out there every month and spending your money. I have records of your rent and your court cases and all this other stuff about where your money actually went. I can't wait until you get on here and try to prove that you lost it all through the stock market because that wouldn't be very difficult for you to prove, Rev. All you got to do is have your paperwork, which I believe you voluntarily threw it in the garbage, so you can't really prove that unless you request paperwork from whatever stock you was um, investing in. Like, I resent the fact that you're going out there calling people liars about talking about Shani when you can't even defend her. I mean, think about this, Rev. There's a reason why nobody wants to step up and defend Shani. There's nothing to defend. So, Shani, like you used to tell me, and you used to tell the other great debaters, it's now your turn to hell your queen. I thought you was crazy when you told me to do it then, but you want to know what? Since I'm throwing your words back at your own face, why don't you get on your knees and hell your queen? And that would be Carrie, who absolutely kicked your butt. Jules can't claim that. Burnt Toast can't claim that. Drag can't claim that. Um, the Geek Room can't claim that. Yeah, they did some things, but they they can't claim they ran you off of social media. Carrie's channel can. All because uh, 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 how can you guys support she Carrie saying all of these terrible things about me? Well, how about this, Shani? Pull up your pull up your curtain because we know you don't got a shirt. Pull up your curtain. You know what I mean? Pull up your curtain. Tighten up your um your rope, and then go over there and defend yourself. Rich girl, two rich white people versus one poor black man. Why don't you go over there and defend yourself? And show everybody how Carrie's lying about you. Or how about this? How about you go on Carrie's channel and admit that Carrie's correct and she has replaced you? Not as a lowest cow or nothing like that because you always quote yourself a queen. That's the, only, that's the only reason I'm bringing that up. And Rev, you need to recognize your queen and that would be Carrie. Because I know a lot of her loyal subjects goes out there to troll the other living daylights out of y'all on your uh, Instagram, but you actually believe that the people that's going over there actually care about you, Shani. At some point, you are gonna have to get on here and you're gonna have to admit that for 10 years, I've been correct about what I've been saying on here. At some point, you're gonna have to admit that, Shani. Miss feminist, first wave feminist. No, right now you ain't looking like a first wave feminist. <laughs> I'm a Christian. I can't say what you look like right now, but I'm pretty sure somebody in the chat will help me out there. But I can't call you that. But you are definitely not looking like a first wave feminist. You're looking like Carrie's. You're looking like Carrie's. Um, let's see something here. What happens when you're? Well, no. Um, let me see something. Uh, 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 um, well. I can't use the word and I can't think of a way to, uh, to, to, to go around it. But anyway, your carries, you know what? And if you come back on social media, on social, social media to play video games, whether it's Star Boy or whatever that mess is that you was playing with your PS5 or whatever, or if you decide to come back on here to do a Goblin Queen thingy or whatever, or if you decide to come on here <laughs> and do whatever, your queen is going to have something to say about you, Shani, and you are going to have to obey and run like the little girl you are. Or, Shani, you could admit that I was right. You could admit that I was right, Shani. Debate is reprobate. Give me a break. <laughs> I bet you ain't saying that now. 
I bet you ain't saying that now, Shani, are you? And Revy, Rev, Revy boy. Again, the only reason no one's defending your woman because your woman is guilty. You are guilty. You remember when you convinced me that someone slashed your tire? This woman's so paranoid you can't even walk in the supermarket because she believes somebody's following her. That's not the behavior of a queen, Shani. I bet you Carrie doesn't walk through a supermarket wondering whether or not somebody's following her. I mean, if you're so tough, Shani, and you can beat up so many men and women, don't, I mean, shouldn't you be inviting them to follow you so you can get your internet revenge, Shani? You was with me. I used to salivate at the idea that somebody doing that with me. I had saliva coming out of my mouth <laughs> the way they was hounding me. <laughs> Scared, not even close. So Shani, I think I, I think what we need to do on this channel is a coronation. We need to put all of Carrie's subjects underneath her. <laughs> and put Carrie on on the um on the on the on the seat that is responsible for ridding social media of Shani. Well, let's just call it this the artist. Formerly known as Shani for Christ. Shani needs love. Uh, what was that other mess she called herself? The cult of Shani. Uh, 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 was that Saldifon she called herself? Uh, 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 she called herself some, 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 some angel or whatever. What was the other one? She called herself, um, uh, what was that channel? The Losers Club. You were doing pretty good when you was hiding your face. It would have been really hard for people to flag you off of here had you kept hiding your face. But nope, you had to get all of the glory, Shani. You had to test YouTube out to see if they would recognize your face. And then you had to come on here and rant. Like people actually wanted to listen to that instead of just requesting a link and going on these channels and defending your honor, which you cannot do. Because you have no honor to defend. When you take off all of your clothes and you get butt naked and your man gets butt naked and you're claiming that you're having sex for Christ, basically doing porn for Christ, as you as I remember you guys calling it, what makes you think the Christian community is going to come and defend you? Come on now. <laughs> I really wish I could say that you was immature doing it, but I, I you know, I can't do that no more because I'm, you know. I look stupid saying that kind of stuff, you know? Can't give you the benefit of the doubt no more. Queen Shani, Goblin Queen, give me a break. Now, Rev, there's a king that you need to recognize, Rev, because you're never going to get serious with Jesus. I don't see that happening because you are too busy worshiping your woman, right? That's when I'm going to do the Drader video, and I'm going to give Drader his credit, because Drader is the one who exposed Shani for lying. Well, actually, Drader is 95 or 97 percent responsible for the cancer thingy, because I remember specifically telling everybody that that woman don't got no cancer. But you know what? I'll take myself out of the equation. Drader deserves the credit for exposing Shani, because he put the most content out there, where, um, where, where he basically showed that Shani broke the law by soliciting funds from people for saying that she had cancer. Now, Shani, if I'm making that up and I'm lying, and Rev, I'm speaking so much horse manure and all this other stuff, Rev, why don't you defend yourself in real time? In real time. You wanna make your triumphant return to YouTube, right? You can go to Carrie's channel, you can go to my channel, you can go to any one of these channels and you can bring your evidence. Let's see why I'm lying about you. You keep talking about how your house is clean and it's never dirty and everything and whatnot. I got video evidence to the contrary. And I ain't talking about that, 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 that tour that happened in, in Boulder, Colorado. I'm talking about my own house. Well, what was my house, rather? Don't even get me started on that one. You got to admit that house wasn't clean. 
you keep claiming that 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 you was doing everything, Shannon, and you was doing everything, and Red wasn't doing nothing but playing sick, and and Red wasn't doing nothing. Was Rev lying when he said that you that you spent all of his money? Or you spent the very large majority of his money? Was Rev making that up? Is Rev willing to go to one of these channels and actually have a discussion about that? Because I'm not paying you no more. I'm going to rub it in. I'm going to take alcohol and salt and sulfur and anything I can. I'm going to put it all up in that, in that wound. And I'm going to remind you to about the advice that I gave you, that you claimed you knew so much, Shani. When somebody tells you been there, done that, read the story already, and you don't want to listen, you deserve everything that came your way. You just didn't want to listen to no, nobody's advice. So there's a new queen in town, Shani, and it's not you. You can't even maintain a voice on here without going, somebody call me a horrible name. Listen to me. You and several other people on here, Shani, has called me a racial slur, dot dropped me on multiple occasions, put me through absolute uh, 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 everything that's uncomfortable on social media. I'm still trying to recover from all the trash that I went through on here for the last three and a half years or whatever. I'm still trying to recover from that. And I will, because I know who I serve. You, Shani, however, you know, <laughs> and, and, and this is why I will not accept you as a child of God, Shani, because I'm going straight to my Bible. Here's the thing. When did my Bible tell when did my Bible tell me that someone will defeat the church or someone would defeat Christ's people? You've been defeated. You ran with your tail between your legs and you ran straight off of social media because I can't take this mentally. They keep talking mean about me. What about all the time you talk mean about somebody else, Shani? And there's video after video after video after video. There are literally hundreds of videos on social media where you talking horrible about other people in here, Shani. You get a taste of your own medicine and you can't handle it. You can't handle it. So, Shani, I'm going to go. But you claim nobody was ever going to run you up on social media. Carrie got you off of here. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie's husband. Thank you, Drader. Thank you for, for, for making the videos regardless of people who wouldn't listen. And people finally get to see what these two is really all about. And I'm glad that some videos are still out there so people can see. And before anybody come on my channel and say, gee, man, we're doing the same thing to you. I'm going to say, knock yourself out. <laughs> you want to do it to me? For the people out there that might be saying that, knock yourself out. All you got to do is give me a link. <laughs> That's all you got to do. <laughs> as long as you got some patience, we, we, we can have a conversation. I ain't got a problem with that. <laughs> but it's because I'm not Shanny. Shani's a coward. Shani's a wimp, and Shani ain't got no, don't got no, 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 uh, no fight in her no more. Carrie took all of it from her. Carrie took all of Rev's fight. Neither one of them got any fight in them no more. They don't know how to cut comments off or don't read comments, which is a very easy thing. Because even right now, I'm not even reading mine. Just don't read the comments, and then get on here and defend yourself. Come on here and defend yourself, Shani. You said in that room, in that bedroom, when you were sitting on that bed, I guess you were sitting in the middle of your urine or whatever, right? And you were sitting on that bed and you sat there and said, you know, Jimmy, I could take you. No, you can't. You can't take me physically and you can't take you can't take me verbally. There's only a few people on YouTube that can um actually there's more than a few people, but it takes a certain kind of person to deal with me. To be able to talk to me. Your name ain't Sherry Love. <laughs> your name ain't Evangelist Ken or Veckel. Or if your name ain't Vocab and several other people in here I know. If, if your name doesn't begin that way, you ain't you gonna have a real difficult time dealing with me.
Shani, how can you just sit back? Now, for the people in here that know me and have been watching this channel for a while, you know why I'm asking this question. Shani, um, how can you sit back and allow these people to just take your content like that, Shani, and profit off your content, Shani? How are you going to just sit back and let that happen? Don't you think it, it would be a little bit intelligent for you to say, listen, I want a link, I want to come on your channel, and I want to challenge you on 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 this video on this video on this video you can't do it shani because you know you're wrong you are guilty you're afraid that somebody's going to show your garbage to the authorities and you might get locked up again this is what it looks like to rub something in shani and only people like sabella um Maybe if uh, Dragnut's watching or certain people in this community knows how much I'm holding back right now. Only a few people on here know how I truly, 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 truly feel right now and how much I'm holding back right now. Only a few people on here know that. Some people got an idea, but nobody really understands, <laughs> except for the people that was there in the beginning when I went through that first eviction and I had to listen to this woman say all this stuff to me and everything. And then when, when, when they moved back into that house and I was being lied to over and 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 over again by those two. These people that's getting these emails and these letters with them constantly begging, I got the same thing too. I got your little flirtatious. Oh, one more thing, Shani. You keep saying that you don't like men, all right? You keep sitting here I wonder if I can play this right now. Give me a second here. Let me find my other phone. I'm going to play that audio. Oh, where is it? Give me a second here, guys. I'm going to cut my phone on real quick. I have this audio I want y'all to listen to. For those of you who don't know what I'm... It might be on this phone, though. No, 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 no. It's on the other phone, I think. No, I think it's on this phone. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a YouTube short because I believe the video, the audio message is only about, um, it's about 45 seconds long, I think. She, okay, when Rev, I believe when Rev got locked up, she left me an audio message. Was Is this when he got locked up or this is when he cheated? All of y'all know about what she said as far as blinking my brains out or whatever if I throw them out the house and whatnot. But I have this audio message that y'all never heard on my phone that I recently found uh, where where she gave me that, you know, I really need a friend nonsense. And if you don't, and for those of you who are in relationships or or are flirtatious or whatever, you understand what I mean by that. I'm going to play that on this channel uh, either in my next video or I'm going to upload a YouTube short so you can all hear it for yourself. And Rev, you keep sitting here talking about some, she ain't into black people. She ain't into black people. You, you are so stupid, Rev. It's unbelievable, dude. There's a video where you're sitting right next to her. And she's saying that every race has been inside of her. If she ain't into black people, how is it, how, how is it that every race has been inside of her? You're sitting right next to her. You're showing your insecurities again, dude. I told you, I don't want her. I don't want her. She wants me. Because unlike you, I'm willing to go to work and bring money back. Shani has nothing to offer me. Nothing. All she does, I want you to think about this a minute, Rev. I want you to think about this. She ain't got nothing to offer nobody. This woman is constantly claiming she's in, that she's sick, in pain, can't walk, can't talk, can't uh, cook, can't do anything. Like literally, dude, I watch you literally do everything. Who in their right mind wants to get into a relationship with somebody who can't do jack? Oh, just think about that a minute, Rev, because I know you watch these channels. What does Shani have to offer a man right now? I want you to think about it. She can't even lay on her back because of her fibro. She can't do, she can't get in the doggy position because of her fibro. She can't stand up because of her fibro. What is she worth? I can tell you what she's worth to Jesus, but as far as a, a relationship with another man, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
She has no value whatsoever. So it's not that she doesn't want to get with a black man. She don't want to get with an Indian man and she's only into you. You're the only one dumb enough to be with her. I promise you that if you left her, unless she gets some guy on the street who's sleeping in his own urine or feces, she ain't getting nobody ever again in her life. And this is the same person that you're letting, making you literally, when she's manipulating you, saying you don't love me if you don't go live and talk about this. Why is it any of my business about what you are doing on your free time, dude? I don't care. I don't think anybody else on social media cares about what kind of magazine you're looking at and who you're talking to via email. That's your business. Why do you got to come on social media and tell everybody? Then the same stupid woman will get on here and complain about everybody being up in her business. That's not royalty, Shani. You're not even a peasant. You're a future jailbird because you ain't smart enough to realize when to cut this mess out. That's what you are, Shani. You are a future jailbird. Stop making this man make videos if he doesn't want to make videos. And really, I dare you to get on here talking about some, oh, nobody makes me get on here and make videos. Doofus, the last two times you came on here, you said that she made you come on here. Or you suggested it, rather. I only wish I knew you two was this stupid when I was living in the house the first time, because I'm telling you, I would have never left. I would have never, ever left. I was defeated by two of the dumbest people on planet Earth. But you want to know what, though? I'm glad everything worked out the way it did, because God, he has a phenomenal sense of humor. It wasn't me you was fighting. It was God at that point. And Shannon, you should have known you was going to lose because ain't nobody defeating him. Nobody. Not me, not you, nobody. So Shani, the next time you grace social media and you talk about Carrie, remember, uh, Shani, by your own stupid argumentation, you talk to her like she's a queen. Like she's your royalty. Because Shani for Christ is dead. Cult the Shani is dead. The Losers Club is dead. Shani Saldafon is dead. Shani Loves Games is dead. And they ain't never coming back. Because your queen wills it. Now, Shani, what are you going to do when you hear this message? You're going to go to the dollar store and buy Band-Aid and put it on your arm? Or are you going to do something about it? I doubt you're going to do anything about it because you're a wimp and everything. We know that you have absolutely no fight in you whatsoever because they took all that from you. You know what I mean? You have no will to fight whatsoever. And Shani, let me ask you this too, Shani. Why do you repeatedly call me a scrub and call me a bum and all this other stuff and whatnot when your man refuses to get a job and keep the job so that you can have food in your mouth? He can't even work at Burger King. Don't you ever call me a scrub again. This dude couldn't stay at Burger King longer than two weeks. Like, really? Burger King? Burger King, Shani? And, you, and you're, you're the only dumb feminist. And I mean the only feminist. I don't know any, maybe somebody in the chat can help me, but I believe you're the only first wave feminist on planet Earth that defends a man who refused to work. You are the laughing stock of social media, Shani. I see people covering some of these other people on here on, uh, on, 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 on social media. But I'm sorry, you get my vote for the, the for, 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 for the most blindest, dumbest, uninformed, unaware person on social media. Like, you know how I feel about drag. I think drag is a complete and utter moron when it comes to social issues. I believe he's socially just like, ugh. 
But when you're lower than him, you know you got issues, Shani. You know you got issues. And again, Shani, let's just say hypothetically speaking, some guy on here wanted you. What do you got to offer? Oh, you know, if you get with me, if you get with if, if you get with Shani for Christ, you get to wipe my butt. You get to run errands for me all day and listen to me whine and cry and moan and complain all day. And then if you get on my nerves, I'm going to punch you in the face if you don't make YouTube videos when I ask you to make it. That's pretty much you, Shani. Nobody wants to be bothered with that. Nobody wants to be bothered with that. Then there's the smell. And there's only a few of us on here that can talk about the smell. Rev, you are a little bit more in a better situation. Let me tell you why. At least you're willing to go to the store. At least you're willing to sweep sometime. At least you're willing to wipe the table sometime. At least you're willing to drive sometimes. At least you're willing to, to have a spine once every three or four years. I mean, I get your credit. You have a teeny, weeny, weeny, weeny bit of value. And I'm pretty sure some lady, uh, um, some lady out there with absolutely no self-esteem whatsoever will be willing to be with you. I mean, you attract who you are. Some people are going to say this is ungodly, this is unchristlike for me to talk like this. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And I would argue that I probably should have said these things to them when they were living inside the house. I said some of this to them, just not like the way I'm doing it now. Like, for example, I did call Rev lazy. I did call Shani lazy. I did tell Shani I thought that she was that she was faking her, her pain sometimes. Um, I told them that they was going to have to get off their behinds if they wanted money from me to actually do something for themselves. Like, these are the kind of things I said to them. But I just said it a little bit nicer. You know what I mean? Shani, you was poor before, Shani. You wasn't doing that good. You was with Chris. At least Chris got up and went and got a job, and he worked. You had food. You occasionally had your smokes and things like that. What happened to you? What made you get so pathetic that you settled for some dude that refuses to do anything? anything with himself. I mean, the guy is quoted as saying that he would rather sleep outside than get a job. I mean, think about that a minute, Shandy. That's the guy that you're with. He would rather be homeless than get a job. And this is the dude that you're bragging about on a day-to-day -day basis. On a day-to-day -day basis. You bragging about your Revy Poo. If the uncle calls you right now, well, no, no, if the uncle calls you today and tells you you got two days to find somewhere to go, or you're going to be out in the street, what you going to do then? You're going to stay with your Revy Poo on the street, on the concrete, and y'all not even married? Like, how stupid are you, Shani? Like, honestly, how dumb are you? I mean, you're so pathetic. You're, according to you, Shani, a lot of you probably don't know this, but Shani claimed that her ex-husband, Chris, violated her. Some of you might not be aware of that. Chris's last name is Dornbush. A lot of people in here know that, right? What kind of a woman gets violated by her ex-husband and then keeps the husband's last name? What kind of a woman does that? I'm not a female, so I wouldn't know how to think like that. I'm a man. All I know is, is I wouldn't um keep that last name. I use my maiden name. So basically, Shani, you're proud of the fact that he supposedly did that. Or how about this? Maybe you lied about that, Shani. Maybe you made that up. I'm looking forward to hearing the stories when you finally dump Rev, because Rev too stupid to see what's coming in, in, in his direction. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to hearing your stories about how Rev did this, did it, did, did this to you supposedly, because I'm going to laugh at you when you try it. I'm not going to believe a word coming out of your mouth. Not a word. And you know what? Some of these people here might get triggered and be like, oh, gee, man, you're heartless. I'm not being heartless. This woman's a compulsive liar. She's a compulsive liar. 
like when you watch the 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 video where she's sitting there talking about she didn't know that she was getting no 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 not that video the video where she um where her and rev had the domestic thingy and whatnot and she said that that for her mother her mother's day's gift it was a uh, um and then she put that into Do Doge coin that 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 wasn't what that money was from i gave them two thousand dollars i believe it was either for the lawyer fee or it was to help them with some of the bills and a couple of other things that they claim they need. I think it has something to do with that key fob thingy that they lost or whatever. But it ain't come from no Mother's Day gift. And Rev told everybody who paid their bills. Those two can't keep a secret for nothing. So, Shani, this little rant was just directed, because like I said, I'm bored, for you to recognize that you do have a queen and you need to recognize who your queen is. Your queen, and I would dare say your owner, Shani, yes, not only your queen, but your owner is Carrie. Because up until this point, you have yet to prove Carrie lied about anything. You you called me on the phone uh, uh, when, when me, you, and Rev was talking uh, uh, about getting y'all some food or whatever. Oh, she brainwashed you and she brainwashed it. How did she brainwash me? What you lied about? Where's your proof? You can't just say that somebody's lying and not present something or present an argument or something that shows that 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 the other person is lying. You can't do that. See, if I get on here and I say, and I'm going to use the geek room as an example, if I get on here and say, well, Frank, you know, you're you're kind of immoral, dude. You you ain't got no room to be calling somebody a terrible person. Gee, man, what are you talking about, G man? You ain't got no proof. Show me some proof. And then I start showing what you said in this stream, what you said in this stream, what you did in this stream, what, and, and then these court cases and whatnot. And I'm actually showing evidence. At least I got an argument. Where are Shanny's? That's what I want to know. Where is Shani's? Shani, you told everybody that you had cancer. You got pressed on it. And then all of a sudden, you don't want to talk about it no more. Instead of just admitting that you made it up. I believe Draven has a form of cancer. I believe that Draven has shown proof of it. I don't recall one time Shani showing any proof. All she got is that little scar on her breast, which she probably burnt herself with her marijuana or something like that, and it probably never um, uh, healed or whatever. Or it could be a birthmark or something that she had there for a long time or something. I don't know. But ain't no doctor diagnose her. Everyone knows by now that Google did it. Google... Google apparently can do a lot of things for her, like their therapist. They ain't going to no therapist. Shani and Rev talks. Rev diagnoses him falsely. Now Rev thinks he's bipolar. He thinks it's all his other stuff because he's listening to Shani instead of going to see professionals. And then he wants, and then he wants sympathy and, and pity from everybody. Yeah, Rev, I feel really bad for you. I feel really bad for you that you can't pull your pants up and just kick Shani out or walk out. Go watch Gone Free. You know, Rev and Shani, you could, you both like watching movies and whatnot, right? There's a really good movie, uh, uh, Rev, that you need to go see. Watch this by yourself, though, Rev. It's called Gone with the Wind. It's called Gone with the Wind. Watch the end of the movie. And watch what the man says to, um, to Scarlett O'Hara. Go watch what he says to her <laughs> when he's about to leave and she's begging him to stay. He says, well, quite frankly, ma'am, I don't give a you-know-what. <laughs> and then he just leaves. <laughs> Because that's going to be you one day, Rev. You're going to realize, this woman, all your money, when you got involved with this woman, gone. Respect, gone. Dignity, gone. And you continue with this lie over and over and over again. And you continue with this lie and you say, my life has always been this, has always been like this. My life never changed. My, my life never went down for the negative uh, of getting involved with Shani. <laughs> When I when I met you in Nadia's rooms, you was able to articulate yourself. I didn't agree with everything that you had to say, but you, you was able to articulate yourself. You was able to tell why you believe the things that you believed. You was a very generous person towards Nadia. 
you was treated with respect, Rev, with respect when you was helping Nadia, something that you don't even know what respect is anymore. You had this atheist, this woman. Now, now here's the thing. Shandy's claiming to be a Christian, Rev. This atheist, Nadia, this, this, this trans atheist, treated you with more respect than the woman that you're with now. How many times did Nadia tell you, thank you? She, uh, 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 she appreciates it. Uh, 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 thank you. I appreciate it. And, and, and all you was doing was getting her some pizza. You was um, getting her something to drink. You was being a, a good friend to Nadia so that she don't go unalive herself or whatever. You was a good friend to Nadia, and you was treated with dignity and respect. You got involved with the Minnesota Barracuda, and everything went down after that, dude. You got a haircut. You illegally evicted me during the coldest part of winter and laughed about it while calling me racial slurs. That ain't how you behaved before you got involved with her. That woman destroyed your life. And, and let me tell you something, if your mother was alive, Rev, and she saw what this woman was doing to you, first of all, you would still have some of your money. But I think your mother would have grabbed you by your ear, dragged you back, back would, would have dragged you back to Stranton, and she would have said, if I ever catch you with a user like that again, I'll disown you. I mean, I really believe she would have said that to you after meeting your uncle and seeing what kind of a personality he has, because I know he doesn't like Shani. You can get on here and lie over and over and over and over again and try to convince these people. The one thing I know for a fact, he does not like Shani. That uncle don't like Shani. The only reason Shani is there is because of you. If something happens to you, she's out in the street. And those are facts. She can claim uh, um, squatters' rights or whatever the heck she wants, all she wants, but she'll be out of there. She'll be out of there. That woman destroyed your life, dude. Tell me this, Rev. Would you have ever done porn? Would you have would you have done that OnlyFans and porn if you never got involved with Shani? Obviously, you wouldn't have did it. So why are you lying to everybody and telling people that um that 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 she didn't take your life uh uh that that things didn't go downhill when you got involved with her? Not one time did Shani do porn when she was with Chris. Chris was a jerk in his own in, in, in his own ways. But I'll tell you this, though. Chris had his household down packed. He wasn't going to agree to do no porn. Like, you must be the girliest man she's ever been with before in her entire life. She can do anything she wants with you, get you to do anything that she wants you to do. And, I, and I'll make a bet with you, Rev. I'll make a bet with you. If Shani really wants you to go jump off a cliff, she could probably get you to do it, too. She wants you to go out there and sell one of your kidneys so that you two can have some, some weed. She could probably get you to do it. Of course, she'll never give up one of her kidneys. And tell me this, Rev. How many times did Shani donate blood? We both know she doesn't do that. She's never donated blood, and she never will donate blood. How about donating some of that blubber that she has? How about that? I'm sure somebody who wants to gain some weight could use her blubber. How about that? Especially all that blubber in her calf area and in those arms of hers. Liposuction. She has the insurance to get that done. We both know it. Don't give me this mess that she didn't destroy your life. She destroyed your life right alongside of you destroying your own life because you're the one who gave her permission to do it. Because you, you just love the poutine pie more than you love what your mother left you. You're so stupid, Rev. You're so unintelligent. You're so gullible. You're so, you're so much of a worshiper at the altar of Shani that when I offered you back your house, you said no. If I'm lying about anything that I'm saying, uh, that I'm saying in this video, Rev, I offer you an invitation along with Shani to come on here and prove me wrong. You both know how I am. 
You both know I got receipts and you both know you ain't just going to be coming on here making no empty claims and not showing no proof. And Shani, since you can kick my butt, and I wish my camera was on for this, but I can't cut my camera on right now. I'm on both my knees right now and I'm begging you to come on this channel <laughs> and show me how you can kick my butt. <laughs> you know I'm a professional when it comes to dealing with people like you. You know I am. So come on. Come on. Either that or acknowledge your queen, Carrie. Because I got a couple of funny videos I'm going to be making when I'm going to be comparing Carrie with Shani. And we're going to look at your YouTube careers. Since, you know, Shani, you happen to be this celebrity and you happen to be this lifestyles of the rich and famous. Right? Let me help you with a little bit of math here, Shani. I was told a long time ago that the average millionaire makes about $5,000 a week. You was getting $5,000 a month. That means you were getting roughly about $1,250 a, a week, right? You was paying $3,000 a month for rent. <laughs> this is why I call you dumb, Shani. I'm sorry. You were paying $3,000 a month for rent, and then you was going on these shopping sprees. And you were going on these shopping sprees when you could have just went back to Pennsylvania and lived for free. You ain't had no mortgage. You just wanted to get the free weed, right? And you could get no hair acting like you're rich, acting like you're invincible, like that money was always going to last and whatnot. And then when the global nonsense happened, you would think, you know, honey, I think we better invest our money and cut down on the spending. Nope. The spending increased. It increased. It was your mission to go broke, Shani. And now you can't handle not having no money because your plan involved getting me. Your plan involved getting me. And that didn't work out too well. Rev, you are just dumb, dude. If I wanted her, Rev, let me tell you how close you, let me tell you what I could have did if I wanted to, Rev. Okay? And I said this before, and I know, I know you're going to watch this. I want you to listen to this because Shani knows this is true. Okay. If I wanted Shani, when you got arrested, when you got arrested um, uh, uh, over there in Scranton for kicking Zachary, if I wanted Shani, let me tell you what I could have did. I could have called a tow truck and got both them cars out of my driveway. I could have paid for Shani to get a restraining order against you to prevent you from coming back there. And she would have been mine. She would have been all mine. Them boys were calling me daddy. They did not want you back there, dude. She only needed a real man to stay with her. I mean, it's a good thing I got something between my brain, uh, uh, something between my ears called a brain, and I'm glad I didn't fall for none of that nonsense. Sorry for all the people out there that thought I wanted her, but no, I don't think so. Shani, let me tell you guys why Shani thinks I want her. Uh, me, Shani, and um, and her husband, her ex-husband Chris, had a disagreement on social media, and it, we was talking mad smack to each other and whatnot, right? I think Shani might have briefly talked about this in one of her videos. But what happened was, I decided to go into, I'm going to get on their nerves mode. And I told Shani, if you ever need a real man, give me a call. And I said this right in front of Chris. And Chris will, Chris will confirm this. Go to his channel and ask him, did this happen? Because it did. And I told Shani, if, if, if you want a real man, give me a call. And Shani took that as if I actually wanted her. Plus, I always knew Shani had a crush on me because when Galaxy Dreams deconverted to be an atheist and I was being really friendly to uh, Galaxy Dreams to try to win her back to Christ, this woman was just jealous that I was being extra friendly to her and I wasn't really paying Shani no mind or whatever. Her own mother told you guys how I am. I told Shani that if I even entertain something like that, that Shani would have to get a job. And move out of her mother's house. I believe I was in my, I was either, I was either 39 or I was in my 40s during this time. 
I was in my early 40s on this time. Well, I look like dealing with somebody still living with their mother. And unemployed and can't take care of themselves. And then all that foul language and cussing, her smelling like a pack of cigarettes. No, no, there's gonna be a whole lot of changes. And then I've never seen her before. I've never seen her uh, uh, stand up on camera before. And I even asked her, Jenny will tell you this. I asked her how much she weighed. She couldn't even answer that. You never asked a girl what her weight is. I said, Listen, I'm trying to get to know you and try to see like what kind of a person you are. You ain't this all that and no bag of buffalo wings or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I don't know you really that much except for what I see on YouTube. And obviously I'm not against big people like that because Evangelist Ken, I think he weighs like about 300 something pounds. That's my best friend on planet Earth. My family treats him like he's like he's blood. We do not talk to him like he's a friend. We talk to him like he's a blood brother. We fight like we're blood brothers. And if you ever go to his channel and ask him, he will tell you that. Thanksgiving, he was over my house. We fought like a like blood brothers. We celebrated like blood brothers. I don't got an issue with the with, with 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 how people physically look. I got a problem with people who think they all at in a bag of buffalo wings. Uh, 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 somebody who's a compulsive liar, somebody who's a racist, somebody who um, lies and manipulates uh, uh, people all the time, somebody who who is just disgusting like Shani. And on top of that, she don't know the concept of soap and water. Who the heck is going to be attracted to that? That's disgusting. And, and for all the ladies that's watching this, if you're single and you want to get a man and you don't bathe, I'm telling you right now, ain't no man unless he's desperate and wants to catch some type of disease is going to mess with you. I'm telling you straight up. Wash up. So that's the truth, bro. If I wanted your woman, I would have had her. Everybody on social media knows this. If I wanted your woman, you want to know it's even sadder, bro? If the dragoons didn't do what they was doing when you had wet brain, I could have had your woman. You just dumb, dude. You are just dumb. She got mad at me because I wasn't calling her all the time. What kind of a so-called married woman or a committed woman in a relationship wants to talk to their friend? Oh, that's right. This sounds familiar. What kind of a married woman or a woman in a committed relationship wants to talk to their friends every minute of the day? Hmm, that 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 sounds familiar. That sounds real familiar. Where did I hear this before? Um Oh, that's right. I forgot. And Chris confirms this on his channel. By the way, go subscribe to him. His channel is called um, Odd Irrelevancy. This is the ex-husband of Shani. The channel is called The Odd Irrelevancy. The Odd Irrelevancy. The Odd Irrelevancy. And he lets you know what it was like to be married to her. Okay, don't worry. Rez video is going to come one day when she leaves him. But Chris confirms that Shani would spend hours on the phone with Rev. She would spend time with me on Skype, Beckle on Skype, and other men not spending a whole lot of time with her own husband. I don't think that surprises anybody. But Rev, that should tell you about your woman. If anybody on here really wanted her, and I mean for real, I ain't talking about trolling her or whatever, really wanted her, they can get her. Because you ain't got nothing going over there, dude. It's not like she's going to be like, well, I'm going to stay with Rev and be hungry every day. That's not what she's going to do. Think about that a minute, Rev. If, if somebody better came along and, and, and she had an opportunity to eat every day, get her weed whenever she wanted and all this other stuff and whatnot, do you really think she's going to stay with you, dude? But you want to come on uh, Instagram and you want to try to convince everybody, well, she ain't into black people and she ain't into these other people like that. Give me a break. Give me a break. <laughs> you want to hear something something funny, uh, Rev? There's this dude on YouTube called Positively Godless. Hey, you remember him, right? Uh, uh, Positively Godless, right? PG, right? <laughs> he can go take shit for her. <laughs> take, take. <laughs> Positively Godless can show up and take, and take a... No, 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 no. I'll do you one better. Who's somebody on here? What's his name? Glute? 
the one who owns uh, the channel, um, uh, Fundy Archive, he can go and take Shani. And if you guys have never seen Glute talk or the way he behave or acts or whatnot, go down that channel. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. You're not going to be able to do it on that channel. I think you got to do it on um, his Gluteus, his Glute Illuminous channel or whatever. And if you go in there, you get to see how Glute talks and how he behaves. He's one of the biggest trolls on here. And he can go in there and take Shani if you want her. There are some bums on the street that make more money than Rev does. Because at least they'll sit there, they'll sit outside and make a dollar twenty-five, have their dignity because they sat out there and actually worked a little bit, and they can go get Shanny if they want it. I'm just stating facts. So Shanny, you, listen to me. You don't get to call yourself a queen no more. Not on Instagram, not on Twitter, or any of these. Because I, because I believe what you guys are doing now. See, everybody thinks you're begging for money via email or whatever. I don't think that's what you're doing. I think what you're doing is you got a faceless channel, and you're trying to make money that way. That's what I think you're doing. And if you're doing that, that means you're finally using your brain. Congratulations that you're finally using that thing between your ears. But no one's gonna know it's you. And you're not going to be some starfish. You're not going to be some starfish where you're going to get credit for having a, a, an account on YouTube or some other uh, point of, on social media. Eventually, you're going to show your face and reveal that is you. Or you're going to do something where you can reveal is you. Because your ego can't take the fact that you can't get the credit. Why do you think Brett Keen always calls it Brett Keen Hollywood? Brett Keen, Brett Keen this and Brett Keen that. And he calls it uh, God TV Radio with Brett Keen. His name has always got to be in it. Shani, you ain't no different. Your name's got to be in everything too. Shani, I want you to take this as daddy giving you a beating, okay? Let's look at it this way. Daddy is putting you across his lap and giving you the spanking you should have got a very long time ago. This is called tough love. This is called this is called uh, 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 trying to trying to actually no, <laughs> just call it tough love. That's what this is. Hopefully you're getting angry and do something about it. But until then, I'm the only queen I'm acknowledging on here in this community. It's the same queen that you need to acknowledge, and that's Carrie, the one who ran your sorry behind off of social media. I'm never leaving YouTube. I'm never leaving social media. <laughs> Somebody needs to make a documentary with you saying that because you got ran off of here by Carrie. Jules couldn't do it. Burnt Toes couldn't do it. Drag couldn't do it. Irie couldn't do it. Fat Fit and Geeky couldn't do it. All these other channels couldn't do it. Harry ran you off of social media. And I am so happy. It's not even funny because maybe now you will actually do something with yourself and stop pretending to be hurt all the time. Anyway, let's take a look at the comments here real quick. Let me see something here. <laughs> Said that's nasty, bro. Let me see something here. Um, let me see something here. Sabella, he had to dump Shani and get in writing that he would not get back with her, and he had to get a job, and he had 24 hours on a Saturday night. Let me see something here. Scott, he wanted him for a while too. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. Sabella says sowing and reaping. Uh, you said the exact same thing to me regarding Bruce, and I never took it as serious. Man, she's dumb. Exactly. Exactly. Shani is just completely dumb. Let me see. Well, the reason why I'm saying that $5,000 a week is what the average millionaire makes, uh, uh, I'm, I, I guess I'm going by 90 standards. <laughs> because in 2024, you might have a point. That might not be how much the average millionaire makes. They might make a lot more. 
G man, you will end up with boo boos on your knees. Yeah, because she ain't never gonna show up on here. Yes, I did, Lubis. I offered the house back. I offered the house back twice, and I offered it back in private. You don't know what you're talking about, Lubis. <laughs> but I'm gonna play that audio for you guys. I want y'all to hear how this woman was when he when when he got locked up. I want y'all to hear her talk to me, and you'll see what I mean. I'm it, it's, it's about 45 seconds. I'm gonna try to like put her face on the picture of it, and then I'm gonna play the audio so you can all hear it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And I'm talking about what she said to me via the phone, not on YouTube. Shani is so full of it, it's not even funny. Lubit, you can call me a liar until you're blue in the face, dude. Okay? So anyway, guys, um, uh, uh, Shani, the whole purpose of this video, Shani, was, wasn't for me really to rant, Shani. The whole purpose of this video is, is for you to recognize your queen and for you to bow your knee and to recognize who royalty is around here. And it is Carrie and it is not you. You never was royalty and you will never be royalty. You need to recognize your queen and you need to pay tax like everybody else do to your queen. And you should thank your queen too, um, uh, Shani, for allowing you to be on social media when you do show up, Shani, because it's not like you're going to do anything. All right? <laughs> it's not like you're going to do anything, Shani, because we all know you're afraid of Carrie. Carrie will whoop your behind and you know it. 